hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here click that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it today i will be doing an ear stretching video i will be doing an ear stretching video not a let me get my grammar right anyway i will be doing an ear stretching video i'm going to be stretching from a double zero gauge to a 12 millimeter gauge and i've been in a size uh double zero for two months today is march the 4th and january the 4th i went into the double zero gauge so it's been two months and i'm just hoping that my ears are ready to stretch to the next size i think they are because well not this particular set of gate or plugs i can't pull them through oh <laughs> i didn't know that wow okay yeah i did not know that <laughs> this was gonna go through yeah that's crazy let me just put this back in until i'm ready to stretch yeah see that went in so easy so i know that i'm ready to go up to the 12 millimeter okay <laughs> but anyway so um what was i saying yeah it's been two months and i know that it's that time because as y'all saw that it just went right through i purchased my new kit through amazon about three days ago from body j for you the first kit that i got was from body j for you do y'all see the difference like what the hell this was a, um i believe 14 gauge yeah 14 through double zero gauge kit and this one is a double zero gauge uh to 20 millimeter yeah so I don't even need the double zero, of course, because yeah, it was in this kit. We're just gonna get right into it. I will clean the tapers um, off camera because there's really no point of doing it on camera. And I'm gonna use um, this alcohol swab. I used to use saline solution, but I ran out and I have to get more, but until then I'm gonna use the alcohol swab. Oh, and another thing before I move on, I didn't know that the kit that I ordered came with the uh, acrylic tapers. I thought they were stainless steel because my first kit, the tapers were stainless steel, but it's okay because I actually prefer to stretch with the uh, acrylic and not the stainless steel because it's it's kind of scary doing, doing it with stainless steel. But people say, oh, don't use the acrylic, but I'm not gonna keep the acrylic in my ear for no more than 10 minutes so all the other stuff that people be talking about is really unnecessary to me so yeah and it's been doing my body just fine like i haven't had any infections or anything so i think i'll be perfectly fine to continue to stretch with whatever i want to acrylic or stainless steel first kit that i started out with it was acrylic but then when i was reading up on it i was like oh i don't want that so i got the stainless steel but then when i was going to bigger sizes i started to notice that it was easier for me to stretch with the acrylic versus the stainless steel so i was just doing that for about three or four sizes and it works for me everybody they can just do what works for them some people use the ptfe tape i don't need to do all of that stuff i just the tapers are perfectly fine for me. So anyway, let me, like I said, clean the tapers and everything off camera and then I'll be back. And one more thing before I go, I promise just one more thing real quick. Let me show y'all, let me show y'all the sizes. Oh my God, they so cute. I got the black uh, tapers with the gold tunnels because I love the gold tunnels. Like, oh my gosh. So, here is the 12 and this is the last size, the 20. <gasps> I think I might stop at the 20. I don't know because when I look at the 16, 18, I'm also loving those sizes too. I'll show y'all that at the end of the video, but I'll take them out the pack and show y'all. But right now I'm ready to get inside of this package right here and put the swell in my ear okay because it's been long overdue like i'm so tired of being in a zero i can say i've been real patient with this size because normally i would want to stretch my ears after a week or two like i can't even lie <laughs> i was just so freaking anxious to stretch to the next size because i'm just like i want to be on my gold size and at that time i didn't really know what my goal size really was it was between a 12 and 14 but 
now that I'm looking, I'm just like, that's not big enough. So I think I might... Uh, I might stop at the 18 because 20 it's not really that big but it's big enough and I don't want it too big patience is most definitely key when you stretching your ears because whew, if you move too fast you gonna suffer hella blowouts and when I tell you you do not want that shit <laughs> you do not want that shit like ooh, like one time my ear was so fucking infected like it was swollen like i i couldn't take it no more and i took it out and cleaned it with peroxide because a friend suggested that i do that and i'm glad that she suggested that because if i didn't do what she said my ear probably was gonna like be fucked up like bad but once i did that my ears just felt so much better and it got back to normal probably like a day later but anyway so i'm gonna use olive oil to stretch i used to use jojoba oil but not anymore um i had tried coconut oil a few times but yeah i prefer olive oil now a friend she put me the same friend actually she put me on to olive oil so yeah but anyway so i have the tapers clean and now i'm about to let me see if i can get this one through here hold on these are some wooden oh it went right through these are some wooden um plugs or whatever and i actually like those online before i received them and after i received them i was just like Ugh. but i was just tired of wearing the the um other colors or whatever so i was just like let me put that in anyway y'all that's enough of me talking and I'm about to just put some olive oil on my finger, massage my ear, and I'm going to put that 12 millimeter in, y'all. I think I'm talking a little too much, but I think that you have to be very detailed when you talking about ear stretching because a lot of people don't know because I didn't know when I started. Like, I had no clue, and I watched a couple of videos, but it was a lot of people that really didn't have very informative videos, and I was just like, whatever, I learned on my own. And I've been wanting to do videos, but I just never did because I'm just like, nobody going to watch that. But people really do be needing to see, especially like people just starting out. But some people also want to see what goes on after the double zero gauge. And I just was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to start my journey. or will start pro uh, keeping progress of my journey after the double zero gauge. Anyway. So this ear, I think it's massaged enough. Okay, so I'm done all of my ear. And now I'm gonna take the taper and I'm gonna put some oil on it. That's about enough. And y'all, my right ear, that's always my easy ear and my left one. That's the one I struggle with all the time. Anyway, let's just see. Oh, it went right in. Okay. Okay, right ear. I see you. I really don't even have to leave this in for long because it just went right through. Now, it stings a little bit. Not a lot because I done been through worse. But this ain't shit compared to the other shit that I done been through with with the ear stretching but anyway let me put the um o-rings on and i'll be back to do this ear oh i know you see it <laughs> anyway so on to the left ear now this is the ear i'm really nervous about but i think it'll go through with no problem look at my naked loads y'all and they are so healthy and you know what that's why i don't want to really stretch to a big size because i don't want my earlobes to be thin like i just don't like that mm -mm. i can't even y'all hear that <laughs> like a suction cup anyway all right i'm done with that let me oil this taper up Okay, y'all. Now this is the ear that 
I gotta worry about. Let me say a prayer real quick. Okay, so. Ooh, I'm scared. Oh, it went right through. Wait, did y'all see that? Oh my God, wait, let me, hold on, let me take it back out. That's how easy it was. Oh my gosh. Wait, look y'all, hold on. Look. Look, it just went right in. I don't have to leave these in for no time. I could just put the tunnels right in. Let me just do that. Because there's no point in me even putting an O-ring on here if I'm just, matter of fact, yes I am. Only because I'm gonna do the right ear first and then I don't want to turn too much and this one slide out. I just can't, and this ear didn't even sting. I'm shocked. Okay, you're your girl. See, like I said, patience is key because I was very, very patient. When I tell y'all, I was so patient. Like I didn't even think about ear stretching anymore until probably about a week ago. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of being in double zero. Let me order my kit. So I ordered it, like I said, like three days ago. And yeah. So before I put this in, I wanna show y'all the difference between a 12 and a zero. Let me open the zero. Oh, snap, no. It's rolling all over the sink and shit. <laughs> Roly poly oly. Okay, so this is the zero gauge. Can y'all see it? This is a zero gauge and this is a 12 millimeter. Let's see, well, let me do it this way. Put it in this way. I can't put it in because I have the O-ring on. Let me take the O-ring off and yeah, slide right in. And yeah, that can't go in there, but this can go in here. Okay. So, it's a big difference. I cannot wait to put the gold freaking tunnels in because I love the gold colors. Like, did I say that already? Well, I'm gonna say that shit again. <laughs> no, but seriously though, I freaking love the gold. And I actually have a lot of jewelry in the 12 millimeter because I didn't know once I, when I had first ordered the jewelry and stuff, when I ordered my jewelry from AliExpress, I didn't really know what a 12 millimeter was. And this was a while ago, back in, I want to say November and, uh, or October, one of the months, I don't even remember exactly, but I did not know that a 12 millimeter was this small. I actually thought it was like the size of a um, 16 millimeter, but, um, I was just like, well, at least I have some jewelry for a 12 millimeter. So I don't have to wear the gold all the time. Although I love the gold, but I have about, I want to say four or five pair of um, plugs. I'll show y'all that later on another video. But right now I'm just worried about the gold. So anyway, I'm just cleaning them right now with the alcohol swab. And I'm gonna put them in okay so let me take this out and i'm gonna put okay y'all see this because i don't know i really have to like look myself Ooh. okay i gotta just push it in just a little bit because it didn't really do what I wanted it to do, but y'all get it. Y'all know what it's supposed to do. Just have to push it just a little bit. Shit, a lot of bit here. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> I was about to say, don't fucking play with me. Don't motherfucking play with me. Okay, let me move on to the left ear. I need to take out both O-rings because I think that's what was stopping me from just doing that all the way. Um, let me put the oil on here. Oh, that was a lot. And my finger almost got stuck in there. <laughs> that can't happen. All right. So, 
I hope y'all can see this. But you know what though, I can just get it through, I think. You know what, uh -uh. let me try that again. Cause I don't want ear bleeding or nothing. Okay, so, oh. Yeah, let me try that again, let me try that again. It's kind of hard trying to do it on camera because I try to let y'all see and oh, it only went on one side. Okay, so that didn't work. Oh, no, it didn't. I thought it had it. Well, it actually did, but it's not all the way. Okay, so I got it in this time. Like it went all the way through. Now I'm going to put the O ring on it. And I'm going to leave this in for probably about another two months. Or I might just do a month this time because I think that my ears are gonna be okay to go up to a 14 in a month all right got the o-ring on oh i'm so excited i can't believe i'm in a freaking 12 millimeter i'm like actually satisfied with this size for now for now oh it's so cute Oh my gosh, can't believe that. Now my hands are all oily and stuff. Rub some of this olive oil on my ashy ass stomach because I ain't put lotion on when I got off the shower. Don't tell nobody else. Now, I am going to show y'all the other sizes. I mean, y'all might know what the other sizes look like, but if you don't, then you will just see through me. Well, we're dropping shit. My hands are all slippery and stuff. Okay, so here is... The 14. This is actually a pretty cute. Okay, it's the light in this bathroom is just horrible. But this is a pretty decent size as well. But the 12, oh my gosh, it's just so freaking cute. And it's just such a big difference from the um 10 gauge. I was just so eager after um a month and a half mark, really, is when I was eager to change into the 12 millimeter because I was so old for the double zero. Anyway, here is the 16. Matter of fact, let me put them up next to each other. Okay, so the 14 and the 16. A major difference. And let's look at the 16 and the 18. Ooh, the 18. Yeah, I think that's where I'll stop at, the 18. Oops. 16, 18. And let me show y'all 18, 20. 20. That's just too big for me. Too big. 18, 20. This is a decent size, but I think that's too, too big for me. Because at that point, like after the 16, really, I think my ears are starting getting thin. I hope not, but I'm not even going to test it out to see. But anyway. Okay, y'all. So that wraps up today's ear stretching video. I'll be back in about a month or two. I don't know yet if I'm going to wait a month or two months and stretch to the next size. But I'll know once I'm like able to like pull my earlobe down and see through up at the top. Like I can see through my ear. Or if I can just push the plug or the tunnel through then i know i'm ready if not at the month mark then the two month mark for sure i will be back like i said but in the meantime i'll be doing other videos and y'all like comment and subscribe to this video and to my channel 
If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Until next time.